Welcome to lines to go installation videos. Today we will be removing and installing fuel lines on a 2007 Silverado Classic using lines to go part number SS888-Q. While this particular installation is being performed on a 2007 Silverado Classic, this set of lines will also fit the following year, make, and models as shown in your screen now. Lines to go lines are made using original equipment and forms and fittings that are CNC bent for an easy and precise installation. We have also upgraded to stainless steel braided Teflon hoses for rust protection and to prevent surface fouling. These have an unlimited shelf life and anti-static PTFE liner. This set of lines to go lines are made using 304L stainless steel for rust resistance that exceeds OEM standards. Tech tip. Disconnect the battery before working on a vehicle to reduce the risk of shorting out the battery on tools or lines. Lines to go lines are made with a sectional design for easier installation. We also use color coded unions on our sectioned lines. Just match the colors at the connections. Make sure to depressurize the fuel system before starting the installation. Tools required 8mm, 11mm, and 13mm sockets and ratchet, 5 16ths of an inch. 13mm, 16mm, and 19mm wrenches, flat blade screwdriver or pry bar, pliers and cutting pliers, drain pan, jack and jack stands. The level of difficulty for this installation is considered to be easy. To depressurize the fuel system, locate the fuel pump fuse using your owner's manual and remove it. Start the vehicle and wait for the engine to stall. Make sure to replace the fuse once completed. Start by disconnecting the negative battery terminal using a 5 16 of an inch wrench. Next, remove the plastic engine cover using an 8 mm socket. Depress the plastic lock to remove the nylon line from the purge valve. Remove the metal locking clip from the fuel line quick connect fitting. Using lines to go disconnect tool, part number 5230-01, disconnect the fuel line quick connection. Carefully route the nylon vapor line from underneath the wiring harness and the fuel rail. Underneath the vehicle, use a 13mm socket to remove the three bolts that secure the ABS module to the frame. You will need to move the ABS module slightly to remove the lines from behind the module. Be careful during this step if your brake lines are not in good shape, as moving the module could result in leaking brake lines. Using a pair of cutting pliers, cut both lines at the flexible section in front of the ABS module. Using an 11mm socket, remove the four bolts that secure the front drive shaft. Use a flat blade screwdriver or pry bar to carefully work the drive shaft boot off the transfer case output shaft. Remove the front drive shaft from the vehicle. Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove both lines from the plastic clips along the driver's side of the transmission and then remove the plastic brackets themselves as they will not be reused. Using a 13mm socket, remove the nut that secures the fuel lines at the driver's side top of the transmission bell housing. Use a pair of cutting pliers to cut the lines as far forward on the transmission as you can reach. Remove both front sections of fuel lines from the vehicle. At the front of the fuel tank, disconnect both fuel line quick connect fittings.
Remove the lines from the plastic clips along the frame. Remove both rear sections of fuel lines from the vehicle. To begin the installation of your new Lines to Go stainless steel fuel lines, start by installing the vent line labeled BB into position, routing it behind the ABS module. Next, install the Lines to Go supply line labeled AB into position. Secure the two lines into the plastic clips along the frame. Connect the quick connect fittings located in front of the fuel tank to the supply and vent line. To install the front section of the fuel lines, start by removing the nylon vent line from the old lines and install it onto the new lines to go vent line labeled 6690-01. Route both stainless steel flexible fuel lines between the rear of the engine and the firewall. Route the nylon vapor line underneath the fuel rail and the wiring harness and replace the quick connect fitting on top of the purge valve. Connect the supply line quick connect fitting to the fuel rail, making sure it is fully seated and replace the locking clip. Replace the plastic engine cover and secure it in place using an 8mm socket. Underneath the vehicle, connect the front flexible fuel lines to the solid rear lines, noting the lines to go color coded connections. Tighten both fittings using a 16mm and a 19mm wrench. Secure the lines to the original mounting brackets using the supplied clamps and bolts. Tighten the bolts using a 13mm socket and wrench. Replace the bolts that secure the ABS module and tighten it using a 13mm socket. Replace the front drive shaft back into position. Carefully work the drive shaft boot back onto the output shaft of the transfer case. Secure the front of the drive shaft using an 11mm socket. Reconnect the negative battery terminal using a 5 16 of an inch wrench. This concludes the installation of stainless steel fuel lines on a 2007 Silverado Classic using lines to go part number SS888-Q. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to purchase the lines you saw today, please call us at 1-855-781-5992, email us at info at linestogo.com, or check out our website link below. And don't forget to take advantage of our free two-day shipping. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below, and we will see you on our next video.